Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Tittle Tattle Tarot. I would like to do an, an energy read today on Nike and what Nike are thinking of um, using Dylan Mulvaney, the uh, woke influencer, to advertise women's sports bras. So, um, yes, this uh, transgender person um, is advertising Nike's sports bras for women. Um, I believe that he hasn't actually transitioned from male to female, um, but he's a great influencer. And I want to know where this is heading for the Nike brand, men selling sports bras to women. He's dressed up um, in aerobics attire. I don't know whether you've seen the advert and doing some high, high impact aerobics, um, totally flat chested and wearing a sports bra, um, which is basically supposed to influence women to buy Nike sports bra, women with breasts, women who are women. Let's see where Nike are going with this and let's just get some energy around the whole Nike situation and uh, this, um, this advertisement, this campaign, men selling sports bras to women, so I'm just going to pull a Celtic cross and we'll just see what Nike are thinking and where this will go for them. Will this be popular? Will they sell more sports bras than ever? What will happen? So, like Sears Tarot, what can you tell us? What can you tell us about Nike's new sports agenda with this transgender Influencer, a man selling sports bras to women. And I will pull the whole of the Celtic cross and then we'll talk about it. So let's have a look at what we've got. This advertising campaign with this chap selling sports bras to women dressed up in a sports bra when he has no breasts. So um, the Six of Swords, uh, this is a moving on card. Um, so this is taking an advertising campaign, moving on with it, moving in a different direction. Usually the Six of Swords is moving to calmer waters. Uh, perhaps not so. It is just moving from one place to another. It can be moving from one place to another in your occupation, in your advertising, in your travel plans. But it is a step whether that's in the right direction or the wrong direction, it is moving on. Uh, this is what Nike are doing. They're moving on. They're progressing their brand uh, with the Six of Swords. So they're progressing. They're moving on. Ten of Cups. Um, this won't be received as well as they are anticipating. Uh, Ten of Cups, the right way up. Uh, yeah, people would embrace it. Uh, companies would embrace it. Um, people would embrace it and say, yes, you know, fantastic. What a great product. There's nothing wrong with the product. It's just the way it's being marketed. Uh, but people would look at it and say, you know, great. Yes, yes. Nike have um, moved on with their advertising, come up with this new advertising campaign. Great. Got the rainbow here. Very appropriate. So, um, yeah. They, that would all be good in the garden. Yes, let's let's support Nike. Let's wear their goods. Let's, you know, get behind them. Um, very, very emotional about this. Yes, always have supported Nike. Always, always worn their clothes. Yes, like this. Uh, no, we haven't got that. Uh, Nike have moved on with their advertising, with their branding. They've moved to a new place and people are going, no, the emotion's coming out of the cups. Uh, no, I don't like this. I do not agree with this, I don't like the way this is being promoted. I don't like men selling women's sports bras, men wearing women's sports bras. Uh, no, women won't like it. Men won't like it. Um, and the emotions will be very, 
very drained on this. Emotions will be spelling out, no, do not like this, do not want this. Um, and in the top, in the head, in, in that sort of thinking position, what have we got? Um, well, Nine of Cups um, up the right way. This is your um, card of um, abundance. It's, um, oh, I'm doing very well, thank you. Um, I've got my cake and I'm eating it and I'm doing very well. Uh, got the good life, got the good life. Well, that's always been Nike, hasn't it? Always done very well. Everybody loves Nike. Always sold masses of products and, uh, yeah, very much Um very much done very very well thank you very much Nike um well we're upside down now uh focus in the mind focus in the head of uh people is uh no again look at these cups you've got 10 cups reversed here all that emotion spilling out nine cups here all that emotion spilling out uh no we don't like the way you're doing this um you're asking for money from for um, a woman's sports product being advertised by a man, being worn by a man. This makes no sense. People won't won't embrace this. They don't think that it's done for the higher good. Um, they can see that it's done as like a sort of um, an agenda, a way to um, cash in on something. Mm, it's not going to sit very well at all. That's in the head. That is, this is not going to sit very well with people. They're going to be very um, emotional about this. Do not like it. And at the bottom, temperance in reverse. Uh, temperance the right way up would be, yes, good decision. Yes, you've used a man to advertise women's sports bra. So you've got this man um, doing aerobics in a sports bra when he has no breasts. Yes, very good. Jolly good. What a, what a good decision that was. You're appealing to everybody. Wonderful. Yes, very balanced. Um, oh, absolutely spot on. What a good choice. No. Um, this is ridiculous. It's um, being done for bad reasons. You know, you can see these angels' wings here. Well, the angels' wings are inverted. It's almost like um, messing around with... Um, with concepts, uh, doing things that are dark and uh, disturbing and divisive. Um, the the temperance card is like the devil when it's in reverse. And the devil likes to split things apart, likes to cause uh, trouble, likes to pit A against B, black against white, likes to cause that irritation. Um, so, yes, at the bottom of this, it's devilish energy. It's it's um, pulling people apart rather than bringing them together. Um, in the past, well, Nike have had all sorts of um, choices open to them, haven't they? You know, um, they, they've sold all kinds of products. They've endorsed uh, loads of different sporting events, um, all the top athletes uh, wearing Nike products. Um, you know, the world's their oyster, basically. They've had so many, this is Seven of Cups, all different choices to choose from. And, you know, they've, they've picked and chosen and quite wisely very often, you know, different things that they want to be um, aligned with. Um, and that was in the past. Um, in the future, uh, not so now. Um, they've made their choice, they've made their bed and they're lying in it. Seven of Swords. This is uh, sneaky behaviour. This is taking something that doesn't belong to you. Uh, this is getting something over on someone. Um, this is the kind of behaviour that um, you, you're just sneakily doing something. You're sneakily using a man to try and get women to buy sports bras. And you're dressing this man up as a woman and putting a sports bra on him when he has no breasts, getting him to jump up and down, um, looking like a teenage girl, prepubescent teenage girl, actually. And, um, you know, expecting fully grown women with D cups, E cups to go, oh, yes, well, I want one of those. It's, it's ridiculous. Um, it's deceitful. It's not honest. It's a very, very strange way to try and um, align yourself with uh, women, women with breasts, <laughs> that know what it's like to jump up and down and do their sports, <laughs> trying to get them to buy, buy a bra, um, you know, advertised by this man. 
ridiculous. So, uh, yeah, they've gone from having loads of choices to choosing this very underhand, very, um, very sneaky way of doing it. Um, and everybody looks and everybody sees and they say, no, this isn't right. This, this isn't right at all. So on the outside, what have we got? Um, well, we've got women coming together. And I think this is what will happen. Real women will come together and say, blimey, have you seen that advert? <laughs> and maybe it's women like you, maybe it's women like me. And it'll be men as well. Men will say, my God, did you see that? Well, how ridiculous. How can that man <laughs> put on a sports bra and say to women, you must buy this bra, you know? <laughs> and women will club together. Look at this. This is very powerful. Uh, females pulling together men pulling together and saying this is ridiculous um women are just being uh ridden roughshod over not only uh are men sort of wearing um you know bras when they don't need them um they're, they're also taking part in their sports and and um winning all the medals and um you know devaluing women and women are going to stand together and they're going to say no we're not having that it will bring it will bring women together and the star yes this is exactly what's going to happen you know people from the outside they're going to say look we stand up we are women put the spotlight on us any woman could have done that advertising campaign they could have chosen a plus size model they could have chosen anyone they could have chosen a supermodel but they could have chosen a woman i think you know a woman who has breasts <laughs> and um you know, women are going to say, look, put the spotlight back on us, on real women, on real women's sports. And let's stop this ludicrousy. You know, this is absolutely ludicrous behavior. Let's put the spotlight back on real, real women. And that's going to be sort of the outside influence. Women are going to rise up against this. And the universe says judgment. Well, they will be judged on this. Um their brand will be greatly judged on this. Um, people are going to start pulling away from them. There, there will be certain people that will stay with them and there'll be some very woke people who will, you know, uh, keep supporting them, no doubt. But the vast majority of men and women will start to say, hang on, where on earth is this going? And it will be their judgment. And the universe sees that and the universe says, don't worry, don't worry. All will be good. All will be good because people will will see the deception in this and will see the wrong the wrong energy in all of this doing it for the wrong reasons doing it to split people apart um you know and they'll see how badly it's reflecting on women and how badly women are being being treated really how dismissively are women being treated and and judgment will be in the favor of normal men and women who would just look at this and say, no, we don't want, we don't want this woke agenda being thrust at us. And the top position here, strength in reverse. It will put Nike in a very, very weak position. Um, this is the kind of weakness where your stocks, your shares start crashing. Um, people start pulling away from you. Your sales plummet. Sales of sports bras, well, my goodness, they will go through the ground. Um, this is a terrible, terrible mistake for Nike. Um, I am not, I am not anti, anti trans at all. I am not anti anything. But you know, <laughs> let's be realistic. Let's let's have real women. Um, advertising to real women women who know what it's like as I say to have um to have breasts <laughs> that don't do what they're told and <laughs> you know that that need to be sort of harnessed <laughs> when you jump up and down and when you do your sports and that is what Nike should be buy this sports bra look at this model um doing this exercise and look how everything works perfectly not oh look at this this man with no breasts jumping around <laughs> in this sports bra ladies you need to buy this how ridiculous so um this will be a terrible decision for nike absolutely awful their stocks their shares will plummet uh their sales will just plummet very very bad decision um i would like to know what you think about this whole situation 
um, and also about uh, men competing in women's sports um, and just just the whole the whole situation. Um, that's what my cards say. That's my interpretation of the cards. If you feel differently, then then please tell me. Um, you know, if you agree, then yes, please tell me. And um, I leave that one with you. You take care and um, I'll be back again with another one very, very soon. Thank you. Bye bye.